everybody. I'm with Miss Eileen here at Las Muertas. She's been nice enough to open up her work day and give you guys some insight on what a real laundry room looks like, what she charges, how it's done, um, and how she keeps herself organized. So we're gonna, um, I'm either gonna stay on camera or I'm gonna hop behind the camera and she's gonna talk a little bit about what she does. So welcome to her. Hi everybody, I'm Eileen, Director of Housekeeping here at Las Muertas Resort Village. And I'm gonna go through the process of doing laundry. Woohoo! So, so we have here, I like to start out with some documentation. So we have this right here. We're gonna get it really close so you guys can see it, and we'll get a copy of this from her so you guys can use it for your own organization. So we have here, you have a woman's list, and there's also a men's list as well. That way, if there's a spouse that lives in the same apartment as you guys can see it, you get it right there. Hopefully that can get clear for you. And what you have is you have them to fill it out and they'll put the number of, let's say socks, pajamas, sweaters, things like that. They fill it out. They put um, the number of each item on there. That way, when you go ahead and to wash their items, you can count them out to make sure that what they have is there when and then i move those sheets when the washer's done i move those sheets actually then to the dryer and put the, these on top of the dryer lid that way their um laundry doesn't get mixed up with some other residents laundry they don't want that um and then when i'm done we fold our sheets um i'm sorry we fold our laundry we put the sheet then with the with a residence laundry, we give it back to them. That way, you always want to keep that sheet with that laundry, wherever it goes. That way there's no mix up with residence. Once in a while, you may have a, a straggler sock or something that might have been left in the corner of a table or something like that. So that sheet really helps you to count it out. Um, also, Another thing too is we charge, actually um, it's $15, that would be for a bed change, that also includes changing the sheets, the, we also provide the soap, so we provide the soap, the spot cleaner, the bleach, along with the dryer sheets as well. Awesome. That's and a really good deal. That and is. what are you charging for each load of laundry? Each load of laundry is $10, so if there's clothing included, so we go ahead and we'll wash their clothing. Again, we provide the soap, spot cleaner, bleach, um, and the dryer sheets. Mm -hmm. If they would like their um, whites separated from the colors, then that's an extra $10 right So there. that counts as two loads? Yep, that would count as two loads. Okay. All awesome. right, and then also, um, I did purchase something that would be the steamer here because sometimes as you know you're looking to bring in the camera closer okay as you know we cannot always be right near um near the dryer as it stops and so if you don't take those clothes out immediately out of the dryer and start to fold them they get pretty wrinkly well then that becomes our fault and we want to make sure that their laundry is nice and wrinkle free so i purchased the steamer here at Walmart and I'll kind of lift it up so you kind of get a better view for 56 bucks the other day and what we do is if there's a shirt or something there's wrinkled we I put it on here and then I take the inside of the shirt and I kind of separate it a little bit and then once this heats up I just get those wrinkles out and it folds so fun a lot of times when we do bring the laundry back to the residence um, we, because we have seniors that are our residents, it's really hard for them to put things away or put them on hangers. Arthritis is something that um, they deal a lot with. So we'll put it, um, we'll put those clothes away for them. We'll put it in drawers or however they want it. Some residents like their shirts hung on the bottom rack of their closet instead of the top because they cannot reach, things like that. Um, so, so basically you know all the nuances and expectations of what they want done with the laundry after you wash and dry it, correct? Yes, and I make notes of it that way. So if somebody, if you were to have a new hire come in for laundry, 
they already have those notes there. That way that saves you time. Um, and they already know the residence preferences as well. Um, you always want your employees to know what they're doing and comfortable with directions. Um, there's nothing like coming in being confused as to where a resident wants things. They don't want to disappoint. Sheets. Um, the steamer works very well with sheets also. Um, so you're steaming sheets as well? We'll steam them if they become right. If they're if they're wrinkled, um, we like to steam out the the wrinkles of them. Um, and the reason being is because people like to have nice crisp sheets when on their bed. It makes them sleep well. There's something about it too that when if you see wrinkles in your sheets, they may have the preconceived idea that that wasn't even washed why are there wrinkles in them and they don't sleep well at night then and that's we want to make sure it's an interesting concept it is and that's why a lot of times hotels they have white sheets you don't see hotels with colored sheets a whole lot mm -mm. Be and the reason being is because and i found this out from news channel three is that the reason for those sheets to be white is that they actually know they're clean and they can sleep better. So, interesting. Yep. Very interesting. So that's something that I learned actually from 3TV. They <laughs> went into hotels and uh -huh. they actually um, done some tests on things. Um, Very so. cool. That's, I, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So that's, I learned something new today. So that's awesome. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. So yeah, it's a, it's a wash, a dry, a steam if, um, if it's wrinkled. And it's a done for you and they put away the laundry for a really great price and i wanted to come here so you guys could kind of understand the process of what a large facility does versus what you would do in your own cleaning business anything else to add um well let's see here i'm thinking of it because there's always something that i could think of to <laughs> add later on after it's done totally fine. um Okay, also, um, sometimes if you have a customer that may have very sensitive skin, um, you can ask them to provide their own soap. Um, that way you're not spending a whole bunch of money buying all these different products. Um, or you could go ahead and put the vinegar into the fabric softener part of the dispenser, and that will, kind of, that will take the soap out as well. So. That's interesting. I didn't know that either. Mm -hmm. Very cool. That is a nice tip to learn. Well, thank you so much, Eileen, for coming out um, or allowing me to come in, I should say, um, and view the facility and ask a bunch of questions. Well, thank you, Shannon, Take for care. coming. Mm -hmm.